Hey guys, Coach Philip is here, and today we're going to be talking about increasing your hand speed. Special thanks to the member Hussein Hamoud for requesting this topic. So first of all, I don't believe in using hand weights or the resistance band, at least in terms of increasing your hand speed, and here's why. Both of them are unnatural and will therefore lead to unnatural form. So I might be exaggerating a little bit using these 10 pounders to shadow box because they are a little heavy but the point is still the same, all right? It's making me do unnatural movements to accommodate that extra weight, as opposed to this. I'm able to like snap my punches out, I'm able to be loose. So who has some of the fastest hands in boxing? I mean, you got Gary Russell Jr., David Benavidez. When you look at some of these fighters' training footage, do you ever see them use hand weights or resistance band for their shadow boxing? Absolutely not. They don't even use 16 ounce gloves to hit the bag. So here are five ways to increase your hand speed. Number one is to relax, all right? The more tense and stiff you are, the slower your punches get. Hand speed is not about muscular strength, it's about technique. All right, so loosen up. Be nice and relaxed when you guys are throwing those punches, shadow boxing. All right, should be snapping them out, not forcing them out with your muscles. All right. So the next piece of advice is to use your shoulders. Hand speed is composed of about 20% arms and 50% shoulders. So make sure you guys are using your shoulders when you guys throw your punches. It's the difference between this and this. So usually when we're trying to put power into our punches, we rotate our hips, right? But we're sacrificing hip rotation for hand speed, all right? We're not able to rotate our hips as much because we need to make it very subtle. So use your shoulders to accommodate that decrease in hip rotation. Also, using your shoulders is going to help you not tire your arms out. All right, so now I'm gonna do it with my hands down so you guys can clearly see what I'm doing with my shoulders, all right? So tip number three, if you notice that I said 50% shoulders, 20% arms, you're probably wondering what the next 30% is, right? The next 30% is your feet. Foot speed is vital to hand speed because they work hand in hand together. Or should I say hand and foot? <laughs> because however your feet move needs to be synchronized with your hands, all right? You see how I'm moving my feet every time I'm throwing a punch, all right? So it's like stepping on cockroaches. So if I'm doing like shoe shines or one twos, all right, notice when my lead hand throws, my rear heel picks up like that, all right? When I'm doing my shoe shine, when my lead hand throws, my rear heel picks up. That's how you synchronize it with your feet when you guys are doing these shoe shines, one twos, throwing your punches. Now when I'm throwing my rear hand punches, my lead heel is gonna slightly come up not too much, but I'm kind of pushing off of that, that lead heel when I throw my rear hand punches. All right, so it's kind of like this. <laughs> Tip number four, don't fully dig into your punches. All right, bring them back quick. It's almost like you're, you're snatching a bunch of dollar bills. So you kind of want your punches to kind of like bounce off of the target. Notice how I'm bringing it back quickly. I'm not digging my punches into my target. Bringing it in as soon as it makes contact. All right, so what I want to do is I want to kind of let my hands bounce off of the bag. Just like that. Number five is breathing. You want to do all one exhale for each combination. So it's gonna be like Not All right, I don't want I want All right, now I got one last final piece of advice for you guys. One thing you guys can do is to lengthen your guard a little bit. So what that means is, my guard is usually right here, right? If I lengthen my guard out a little bit, I'm bringing it a little more forward towards the opponent. What that does is it cuts the distance in half that the punch has to travel to get to the opponent. So I'm boxing, bring it forward a little bit, just like that.
Other than that, thank you guys for tuning into that video. So hand weights, resistance bands, you guys don't need all that. Do it the old school way. They didn't have no dang hand weights back in the days. I don't let any of these TikTokers or YouTubers tell you you guys need like special little tools like hand weights and stuff to increase your hand speed. So if you guys have any questions, please comment down below. Please like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.